this is pretty much sums up what I love to do. lovelies welcome back this is home garden and antiques and today I'm back with another haul so let's get started I'm gonna go and unload the car and share with you what I have hauled So the rain had stopped and the sun is coming out. It's looking wonderful outside right now. And I don't know if you guys can hear the birds chirping in the background. Um, however, yesterday we reached 80 degrees and overnight we dropped to 40s. Yes, it's uh, that type of weather we've been having. So we woke up in very chilly and a little bit rain. So, um, but now I'm happy because after this, uh, we'll be out in the garden doing some garden chores. But I can't wait to share with you guys what I have hauled. I have one of my favorite pieces here and I'm going to go ahead, move things around and showing you what I've picked up. So right here I have two beautiful shelvings. I'm going to start with the small one. These are Italian shelvings, gilded. Um, these are mid-century these are not antiques but they are absolutely gorgeous I like the ribbon design and um, an excellent condition has these little hooks on the back and a little ribbon design going on here it's so darling <clears throat> so this is the small one and I got the big one right here. Stunning, isn't it? Gorgeous. It's so pretty. Same concept. You have all this design, dimensional design, and the same pattern right here. Hooks at the same manner. Now, I just want to show you the comparison between the two sizes so you get an idea. can see it I think these pieces are really beautiful um, on the wall moving on to the next item also related to shelving these are mass produced but I thought what a romantic decoration to have on the wall if you into that style this is um, sort of resin and um, it got the hooks on the back it's a pretty decorative piece um, some of the items that I will be listing definitely in the shop um, because I have some or similar to these items so but I thought you guys may be interested uh, I will be listing some items this this guy is pretty heavy so solid has a weight to it 
Next item is a beautiful sweet linen one pillowcase that is beautifully stitched. I was hoping to find another one. But this is an used item. Uh, this is vintage Bocella, I think the name brand. This is made in the US, but look at this stitching. Isn't this sweet? I like the trellis design. I'm gonna bring you guys close so you can see it. Here we are. Sorry, it's not iron. Um, but I like the, the trellis design that's going on here. I think it's so um, neat. Beautiful craftsmanship. Following is this lovely garden item. Vintage solid wood caddy. Not pretty. Beautiful caddy to carry your stuff. Um, very solid, really. I like the weight of this. You know the saying, they don't make them like they used to. And this really applies here. But I love it because it's medium. It's nothing huge. And you can actually have things to fit in here more hand decorated with beautiful um what it looks like daisies um the cover for these nails are popped out but really it's not affecting the function of this piece and i always go and pick me up some baskets you guys you know i like all sort of baskets this is a perfect basket for the coffee table um, it's wide and not too deep, but really creates a beautiful vignette on the table. It's perfect. I would say this, this is, I think it could be more than um, 17 inches wide, really decent size. I'm moving on to planters. So here is a piece that is a lovely wire basket. This guy is big, so I'm going to pull the camera up a little bit. Here we are. Really nice piece. Um, this is in a Georgian style garden basket. Absolutely beautiful. It has some rust and wear, but that only makes it beautiful. And just look at these. Now, I know this looks like it was hanged by a chain on both sides. I couldn't find the chain when I was um, hunting for these. It is still gorgeous because it can still plant, put it on the pedestal in the garden or you can create your own hanging rope or um, wire or chain if you have one of those. I think it's a sweet if you put like moss all around it and you just put in uh, I see white um, white and creamy flowers here palette it will beautiful contrast with the wire it would look really nice before i want to share one of my favorite pieces um i'm going to take you out to share to show you the other items that i have found so let's step outside so if you guys can hear people cutting the grass outside our neighbors are cutting the grass so um, I think you can spray it whatever color you wish, but I think the structure of it is so solid and it's so um, sturdy. Let me show you how this compared to the other two pieces. So 
So this is the big one, the middle one, and the smallest one. All right, guys, we're going back in. So before I share with you my favorite pieces, um, I wanted to bring these cute um, angels, statuary angels for the garden. This one holding a bunny, it has some wear, and I think it looks so darling. Someone tucked in to add a little whimsy in the garden. Uh, these are concrete or cement statue. And this one has a wear and the neck is correct, but it is fused with metal from the inside. So it is not wobbly at all. Um, it has a beautiful patina start to show on the face and you can see it is enforced with wire in the back and um, they're about these two guys are about the same height I would say about six to almost seven inches and six inches wide because of the wings these wings are pretty wider and um, like covering the whole back of the statue However, these are basically identical and they're about five inches, but overall, I love the wear on them. And um, the wings on these are smaller, so the size would be smaller than the other one. But as a collection, they're really cute and sweet. This guy is also has big wings this i think comes from a different grouping and this one looks like it's uh, the four season angels or chir or chirrups and this one is for representing fall you can see the cornucopia with them and the wheat on the back on the side here but i think sitting somewhere in the garden and it would look so beautiful now I always love stones and hardscape in the garden. Um, this one doesn't sit properly. You have to kind of prop it somewhere. You have to lean it against something. So this is literally the following day. My camera shut off on me when about to share my favorite pieces that I've picked up. And here we go. Check out this beautiful piece of art. Isn't this gorgeous? This is a vintage frame, but I believe the lithograph print that you see here is antique. And the subject matter, it can be more charming and very, very me. Got the roses, the stone fruit, the birds, the gourds. It just so charming you can see the little whimsy of um, a bee floating around here this gorgeous piece is made by wishmaker's house ensemble and i just love how whoever decided on the frame they did a excellent choice picking up this frame you guys because you can see Yes, it is gilded. It is ornate from the corner in a beautiful, um, soft colors. But this blue, almost like French blue, really goes well with or with the lithograph print here. Perfect, and I love the borders here as well. So they really did a good job in picking this out together. Now I have this one and the other one this is the other one which is neat because in this one it's the same concept you get the bird you get the roses but the fruit in this one is tropical it's unusual 
I, I rarely see pineapples in pictures and arts. Um, so that I thought it was pretty cool. And of course we get the little bug, looks like a ladybug here. And looks like a really faint image of butterfly here. But it's so darling, it's so pretty as set on top of each other on the wall. Well friends, let me know which one of this haul is your favorite item. Like to hear your thoughts. Comment below, let me know. And don't forget to share, subscribe, and go out there and get your home something pretty. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.